Good morning everyone. Natalia here and we have Halloween sampler. I really wanted to finish the sampler before Halloween, which makes sense, right? Uh, and this design is from DIY Digital Art. And I am so close to finish. I have left only, only left down my needle here. Just a minute. I'll stretch my needle to the magnet okay only left this a little bit in here you see this border that will be orange till here I finished last night uh, uh, it's a uh, same there is this border is orange color same was left in this symbol in here on the pumpkins so I finished the last night and just a few stitches this morning and uh, all these borders I finish and always with my fingers. Why with my fingers? Oh, where is my some kind of pointy tool? How about we are going to use this diamond painting feather? Okay, so I finish all this uh, orange borders. What is left in here? This part from here to here, full stitches border and there's a whole bunch of back stitches in here so let me show you there will be a few stitches right on his belly just like a few stitches will be in here um, well if we can look on this piece of paper maybe we will see oh you see on his belly that's the only back stitches we have on this part then on a cat we have stitches backstitch those black lines that we see go all the way around in here uh, spider web and around these bubbles so here is this i will show you the cat cat in the head and there is a Spider, the only one stitch is missing and here as you can see one symbol and that is going to be same color as back stitch so when I will do spider back stitch I will over stitch uh, this one tiny uh, stitch so I left it purposely so there's our web looks fantastic I really like the sampler it was fun to work on it uh, the ghost he's holding here something looks like some kind of like a hoop or loop so that one will be backstitch and then we have some more web maybe if I can fold we can see better some web and like a borders you see there's some uh, greens very light colors hard to see but on both sides greenery from the pumpkins this pumpkins looks fantastic Catherine says, oh, it will be awesome as a bookmarks. Uh, it could be if you can just a little space between two designs. So if you cut fabric, it will be really difficult to kind of make it uh, in full. And here it is, Hubble Bubble. We have a pot of gold or something up there. Or that's a magic liquid got spilled. Uh, so there is going to be... Um, backstitch on the pot itself and all those ob obviously all those bubbles around we have to do a backstitch up there then this beautiful castle in here you can see there's some birds up there up there probably scary crow not the crow yeah what's the crow that's uh, black birds and which she has a spider web in here too her fancy outfit and eyeball bats <laughs> so they also have if we can look on this design see there's a, a words in here happy that's going to be backstitching all this outlining 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 bottles there's have some designs or some writing in the bottles that i have to create oh that's what was right in halloween in here it's so like very oh yeah a little bit so what's that ghost holding yeah some kind of 
Oh, oh, spook. That's what there's a word in here. Okay, so it is lots of backstitch in here. So I'm just thinking, I was gonna stitch with you a whole bunch of uh, of these borders together, but that would be like um, very long video just for the borders. So what I will do, I will stitch with you a little bit this piece, and because uh, as you can see, I'm stitching without frame, I'm holding in my hands, and somebody wanted to see how I stitch. So I will try to do that. So when it's like close border in here, so literally I'm just holding my canvas just like this and I'm just stitching. Um, if I go from my right to the left, usually I stitch sometimes in two stitches. This time I was going from left to my right, so I was stitching one by one, just like that. Uh, now I will go up a little bit so I can hold it from here, but I will do I will roll my canvas, roll my canvas, and hold on, there's a needle in here. You can use a little clip or pin to kind of pinch in here for the more comfort, but I'm comfortable as it is. So I will be holding like this in my hands, and I will stitch just like that uh, or one by one I think I will stitch till I get there uh, now how I can position my camera I don't know right now it's camera on my table so I can kind of show you what I'm doing uh, I might will make you to look this upside down if I put my camera on this spot usually and go like against me uh, because I'm not sure if I can stitch like this because I need to look camera right now like up front of my face so I cannot see what to stitch so let me readjust my camera and we will stitch and by the way if I can show you now I already prepare my next thread if I need it because I think I'm not gonna have enough to finish here lots of thread left of each color and some of this color like the black I know I need a lots of black for the back stitching but I think still it's a good amount of colors left Especially this orange, I just needed a little bit and I still have tons of left. Yeah. Um, Alright. Lots of purple left. Look at this amount of purple. So, lots of thread left in here. Let me readjust and we will stitch a little bit together with you. So, I put on my lap nice fluffy blanket because I'm off the table. Uh, this part of my canvas laying on a table and this part is out of my table so it's hanging on the air so I will bring my magnifier to me for the more for more comfort and as I mentioned before you know by stitching in hands it will look maybe a little bit shaky not comfortable for you to watch and some of you told me not to do enhanced stitching because it is not comfortable but I just uh, have this request to show one more time how I do it so that's why it's kind of like a, a purpose of this to show you so I didn't stitch this canvas not even once I think on video so at least finishing touches we can do together and at the same time, when I finish backstitch, uh, I might will do a little bit backstitch with you as well, just to have this canvas kind of complete together with you. And at the same time, I can even do a little bit of... Um, okay, what's going on? Um, maybe you... Okay, that's the wrong hole tuck too much hold on one hole I have to go one up because I'm not using a light for my magnifier I did stitch here a little bit in two stitches and I will show you for example how um, I will have to start from here. Just a minute. Mm. It's 
not gonna work now like this because I'm stitching different way um, how can I show you okay I will switch my I would go from here to here but then I will go from here no it's still the same thing hold on let me try one more time if I go from here then okay now I can start and show you how you can stitch in two stitches so I will start from this corner so in if you want to do in two stitches you can just kind of you need to bend the canvas a little bit in this canvas is stiff and just go all at once but then again you will have to kind of go back in here in the same hole that you came out to make a full stitch and pull out sometimes it's not comfortable because you can split your thread and then go again keep going but in this uh, technique not always good because the stitches kind of you know, I don't know if you will see difference or not these two stitches that I just created they are not exactly the same and the more you stitch the more kind of squished and not nice they look some of this I stitch in one by one some I stitch in two depends um, how I was on the mood but I still recommend to go one by one let me see if I can readjust camera even a little bit more kind of straight up to see those stitches better maybe I still find that in two stitches your full stitching look a little bit not as nice not as nice I don't have light that way sometimes I cannot oh 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 hold on there I have to remember to be on the camera it's me I need to put my more towards me more comfort if you're not in a hurry you can just do little by little just like that it's much more comfortable for me if I would turn light on that way I can see kind of from underneath of my canvas where my needle go uh, through those holes kind of needle shining so it's easy to get right in a proper hole some holes in here was almost like melted especially where I have this ghost in here uh, some of this uh, holes was melted like it's you know when you burn in plastic and the little layer of plastic kind of melting it was feel like some of those holes was melted and was closed holes so I have to really kind of like a poke those holes from the uh, front of the canvas because I couldn't find a hole to get my needle from underneath so th that was like just a few maybe um, six or seven was stitches like this I don't know what that cause maybe when they printed paint maybe that was just like a thick layer of paint but it was kind of like a hard uh, layer so I'm not sure so that is how I stitch the whole canvas in my hands I did not use frame at all because it's a little canvas it's easy to hold and then at the same time I can flip my canvas on another side and stitch exactly same way uh, what I mean uh, let's see if I can zoom out what I mean if I want to stitch from this side I need to flip my canvas all the way all the way and then I would roll from this side to stitch and my layer uh, my uh, excess I'm just explaining to beginners I know you all 
uh, most of you know this, uh, your stitches will be layering same direction as you did from this side. Doesn't matter how you work. But if you start from this side or from the top, you cannot start to stitch like this later because if you start stitch your axis will close on a wrong direction from stitches from this way so if you start sideways you have to continue all the way till you finish if you start this way or this way continue that way by the way no nails at all see i chop them short 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 i put base coat because i'm preparing them for some fancy nails so i just wanted to make them a little bit shiny and nice so it's not so scary <laughs> in the video okay okay let's get back let's get back how much oh no, that's too much okay this will be all right i have a little bit thread in here left and i usually stitch till the very very edge that I can't even make any X anymore I'm really uh, good on threads not to waste too much there was a single stitches in here as well that I have to literally just do one stitch and cut one stitch and cut and that was mostly of the designs like um, let me find where they are. You see all those like singles thing, this little uh, one one by one. Um, see like this one I stitch and I think I point to this one because it's close enough. Uh, this one I think it was like yeah just one. I stitch one and cut my thread. So this one was kind of annoying because you have to cut your thread too much. Uh, you could definitely do some of them at once just to make a big passage of the thread on the other side but because I don't like big passages uh, I decided to cut there you go you can see my back and in here some of the passages see like a little tiny one um, I don't know if I have a big passages through my canvas the the well see like this is that's not even that's probably no maybe centimeter or something in here maybe even less most of them it's a all little tiny so my back stitching looks not bad i have to say but when we will do a back stitch that's what's gonna make a little bit messy back backing because with the back stitch uh, you know all this uh, will be lots of threads kind of hanging on another side because of the nature of the back stitch but now I know for sure that I will finish this before Halloween and that's make me happy and accomplish I will feel accomplished because that was my goal for sure to finish and then after this one yes Julie I will be working on my tiger good call you know it's still tiger here a tiger i have to create of course i'm not going to be probably finished to the end because i want to um, to make a progress on many others designs but definitely i want to have a good chunk on my tiger so that one i will bring and i will stitch as much as possible and at the same time i will be stitching a little by little each of them the one that I pick by the way if you are new on my channel I have a video collection of all my whips and also I just uploaded I have a video of my whips in diamond painting I don't think I have too many diamond painting I never count so I have to read your comments see if any of you ca uh, count Okay, I think I'm gonna make this the last one because it's already go see like some of them some of the threads still longer but it's like a only one two 
the third one I think I already lose third one is like very very on the edge already so I'm going to finish this one pull on another side my canvas is under the tripod hold on put on another side I usually what I do I just do on okay I'm gonna be on a video okay underneath I'm gonna put like this okay and that's it that's it where's my scissors just a minute <coughs> Love the scissors, they are super sharp. And I will now cut this very close in here so it's barely even visible. You see, can really even see. I could even cut even a little bit shorter, but that's okay. So I have a little tiny piece left in here. I will finish now and come back to you we will do a few of the back stitch right we are going to do some back stitching uh, this is 11 count ada and usually if it's not specific telling you in the instruction uh, how many um, threads you have to use that uh, always for 11 count ada you need to have it two strands to do back stitching so I have in this design in here I have uh, sorry it's pointing upside down for you but I need to stitch so we have a little border in here and you can see how the stitches work uh, in here it's showing me that this is one straight line so I can stitch this all at once or I can stitch like one and go back one and go to next one so I think I will do just as it is to make a very simple stitch in here this is not a very difficult design it will be fine and then this web and for this design that's the for this particular uh, portion black threads will be finished and there's a lots of different uh, colors in here like we have in here see word happy then there's a boots up there over aligned with design so there's uh, some um, lots of so I will stitch back stitch till I finish this thread then I will continue with different color in here so what I will do let me bring you let's see as again I will try to keep my uh, canvas like off my off the table a little bit let's see maybe I need to readjust in here a little bit tiny bit just a minute because now I can really fold it because I'm on an edge so I'm just going to hold my canvas as it is and let's fold it this side not to make a shadow and I will do in here just as I already secure my thread on this side and I will do super simple, just like we have, um, how you call this stitch. I'm just going to make it like that. I'm not going to like a back and forth because this is very simple line. So basically I can just do like that. You see what I'm doing in here? Oh, my magnet here. Hold on. Tingle up around magnet. Just like that. After it's washed and iron, it's not going to be a big deal because it is it's a small stitches. It's not very long. So it's kind of forgivable for that. don't afraid of backstitch it's really nothing 
difficult about. So now I'm just thinking in here how is better to get if I should go all the way to the edge and then to do this curves or I should do in here and kind of go this, this, this line, go here and then go back to continue here and then go up. So I think this way will be better. So what I have in here, I'm making in here one stitch forward. And then I jump. It's good in here right now. See, this uh, design is not uh, over stitch with other threads, so I can see lines. I don't have to look on the pattern on my paper. Now, see, I do backwards and coming out again from the end and go forward to the next point right in here back stitch because we go backwards Super easy, nothing difficult about backstitch. I really encourage you to try it, keep practicing. I have two video tutorials on a different backstitching. One of the layering and other video just like I'm doing right now. Okay, I need to take it off. My magnet probably keep keep catching it on magnet. I have to move away maybe. <laughs> okay, I can't remember. Did I do backwards? Yeah, I did the backwards. And to the corner. Have to go like it's not super comfortable for the video because I have to go all the way under and over with my hand. If you want to have very thin, thin uh, spider web, do in one thread. It also will look uh, good. It's just going to be more invisible you know, more transparent kind of web. Okay. That's my edge of the web in here and it's going to continue one more in here over. So I go one more because that's how design and then I can do I can actually create one short one. Okay, this magnet definitely on my move over a little bit to the other side. I can create now smaller stitches or a longer stitches in here. It's really whatever I decide I want to do. My battery already flashing, my friends. Because I'm stitching little by little. I mean, recording little by little on the same battery. And this is the weakest battery that doesn't hold too long. But I do want to create this web together with you. So if battery stop recording, I will exchange quickly. I do have another battery already charged. Okay, so now see I'm going to here to close my corner. Oh, yeah, am I in the video yet? Close the corner. 
and then from here I go back to the same point that we started right there and keep going now I have a one square in here backwards if you want you can do like right away go for example right in here to your next point okay so you don't have to go back and forth with your hand see go backwards now in here and now we have to end it up with the same point where we have a thread so this may be a little bit tricky but let's try it we did it see now here I will do I will do short one stitch in here go backwards and go from here to here this one may be more comfortable to stitch in two stitches right away if you think it's more comfortable okay I think I'm, I have to replace battery I'm not, oh I missed <laughs> okay I forgot to stitch this part okay I will stitch when I get to this point forgot about the little thing because I chit chat too much I guess I did not pay attention plus I keep looking on the camera if I not talking to myself yet if my camera shut down or not okay I will fix that point right now so I have a too short one in here you have to follow the band of your stitch whatever this line created not always straight because the web is not perfect I will do one short in here mm. actually what I will do I will go big one in here to this corner because I want to close this part so I go jump in here um, no, I will do one long one there go back from the center and here is a little bendy point so I have to do this way always have to plan for yourself passage where is the shorter passage to stitch so your line could be kind of seamless and you don't have to stitch stitch all of a sudden oh you are too far you have to create another line somewhere or break a thread it's good when lines still visible it's going to be more difficult to stitch where I have designed stitched already so I will have to use book to see those lines where they are because they already over stitch with the full stitch like oh, sideway kind of not comfortable I hope you're having a fun watching back stitch. Maybe, maybe my battery going to hold on till I finish. See, we're almost done. There. Go back to this point. I 
I can do here right like this. Where is the hole? Oh, hold on. Let me do one at a time. And I will come in out, not back, but in here. See, right in here to cover this way. we are done in this one so now I'm going to flip this on another side what you can do you can do even like one stitch create you can even make a one tiny hoop if you want to I mean loop like this and then I would just pass my needle through usually I do two two stitches like this and I'm ready to cut this off and continue on next design. All right, so I will be working on my back stitch and come back to you when it's done and we are going to wash together what you're saying. Because my battery is going to die right now anyway. All right, see you in a second. Remember I told you I have lots of orange threads left. Well, not much left now. Because in this particular color, it was so many back stitches. So this is done, my friends. I finish. I cannot believe how much back stitch in here. To be honest, some of those back stitches I didn't even see. I have them. So now, where back stitch was placed? Let me grab. Hold on. Let me grab my scissors. So we have backstitch on the tip of this here, so right in here. Then we have a purple in here on both sides. Orange outline eye, and here is the in the green. Uh, and that's it for owl. Now we go to the cat. Every air bubble this uh, outlining. Cat's ear all the way around. Look at the little nose. And kind of outlining his legs. Then we have a hat, it's only two orange circle in here. Eyeball, the spider. Now we go to this one. I thought, what is his holding kind of hoop? But that's actually, it says spooky. So this whole ghost outlining and if I would be designing, I would outline this guy too. He kind of like a blend in a little bit. Then we go to house, we have a birds, the those bubbles again the roof in different colors purple in here then orange up there um, then green in here another door over the windows and also I was thinking why this uh, doorway and windows in white I was even thinking like uh, why not to use maybe like let's say this yellow to kind of make it like a light inside maybe like yellow color on the inside of this windows and doorway I don't know if that would be better or not instead of just a blank white but that's what it is to the which we go in we have again spider web happy this the words was the most easier to do the most complicated, I think, it was the boots of the witch. Look at all this backstitching, all by one square. Do, 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 do. Lots, 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 lots. But now her boots looks very fancy. Um, eyeball bath. I switched the colors. In here, that's how it's supposed to be. Purple on the outside and orange cracks on the inside. I decided in here to do switch. And I'm not sure. Oh, hold on. Put a kettle of water on the stove, start whistling. So I have to turn it off. So, look, uh, if I can show you together, I don't know if I did the right decision or not. I decided to switch colors in here. So, instead of um, purple on the outside, I did uh, switch colors orange on the outside, purple inside. I don't know. 
uh, I should maybe did this way, but I decided to try a different way. <laughs> Tell me if that was a bad idea. Appreciate your honesty. Uh, now in here, yeah, so in here and the uh, wings uh, back in. Then on the part we have uh, bubbles again all the way outline. And I actually like a green outline and on the part. It really kind of lighten up almost like a glowy jug. So I like that. On the bottles, there's some designs. Again, those bubbles outlining. Some writing number. What is the number nine in here? Some kind of potions. And then bath blood. Bath, bath is blood in here says. See that? Uh, in here words Halloween. Obviously like it's a happy Halloween kind of tiny writing. Backstitch here. In purple backstitch here. Whole bunch of backstitch in this orange. To be honest, I don't see why I needed backstitch of this orange and a pumpkin. It would be great in here look even without backstitch. It's barely visible. I don't know. But that's it. So now when I look like this, it looks really good. Attractive. Now I'm going to wash this. Iron. And it's done to display for the Halloween. So I'm really happy I finished actually much earlier than I thought. Because I was stitching a lot, a lot, a lot. Tons of backstitching on this one. I have to tell you, I don't want to see backstitching for a while now. <laughs> oh my god, I'm tired of backstitching. That was too much. Uh, it took me much longer than I thought would be. So after my first portion of the video that I did, I spent probably two days on backstitching. Um, Alright, so now let's give a bath. By the way, if you want to see my backing, I can show you that as well. After all the backstitching, I would say it's not bad. I don't have a very big stretches of the threads. There you go. That is my back. I think look not bad. So guess what? We're gonna see some. We're gonna see some magic. Oh, I have a reflection up there in the water. Here's what I'm usually using. Uh, this washing liquid, and this is like green. You can use any really, or even shampoo, um, or any dish soap even. But I decided to use this one. So water in here already like it's like barely warm, like a home temperature. And I just uh, pour a little bit, not even much. That should be, oh, bubbles flying. That should be okay. That should be okay of the soapy water. And I always like the first moment because it's always scary how the color will start to pour out of this this print. The water is gonna get so dirty. That really scares me when I did wash first time my canvas. So we're just gonna give a bath to this baby. I'm so happy by completing one design. Look at that, the water already getting dirty. It's gonna turn absolutely disgustingly black. In a second, see um, if I would put in here more hot water, it will be intense color, washable like very very fast would be. Just squish a little bit. I don't want to disturb all my back stitches, so I'm just gentle. I will leave this for usually. 10-15 minutes more than enough even sooner but I will be changing water one more time in a soapy water just to wash till it's clean and then I will rinse in cold water or like a little tiny warm water I have many tutorials of how I wash after that so let's see let's see it start it start to disappear and it's getting lighter 
Let's get a lighter color. Start to disappear slowly. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this and we'll come back to you one more time when it's all clean. Happy moment. It is done. It's washed. I did iron. It's still damp. I might have to iron a little bit more because I'm kind of moving. Uh, I didn't see this creases till I look through the camera, so I have to iron a little bit more. But it's still damp. It's a little bit wet. Not exactly dry, but I just want to finish this video, so I need to make this last. Just to show you how it looks like when it's all washed. Have still a little bit of the shadow in here. But what do you think? I think it looks fantastic. Really, really like it. I like it. You could even add like a sparkle jam for the spider in here. Mm -hmm. looks good I think it looks good so now it's going to be dry and maybe I will see if I have frame for it or I can just make it something for it not sure how I will finish but for now this is it one more finish for the year wonderful thank you for watching see you next time happy Halloween